Our children get back, not just to school, but after school athletics, after school activities. Mm -hmm. It's important, probably more important than ever, that we prevent them from getting injured. Let's get out to Jen. Yeah, this is all part of our Healthy Kids series. Dr. Lee Cohen, the Eagles podiatrist for what? More than... Eh, 36. Oh, okay, that's a lot of time. Um, you work with professional athletes, collegiate athletes, but you also work with little guys and girls, yes? Little guys and girls. You're a grandfather yourself? I am. Okay, so the one thing that you were saying to me is, is you can look on the body and you can really tell whether or not they're going to be likely to be injured immediately or in the future, correct? Exactly. There's things, because of the running involved and the overuse of running with poor or undiagnosed mechanics, the kids start to break down in different parts of the body. Knee, back, hip. Okay, so these are some of your patients. Yeah. So there's things that we can do. So first of all, let's show people what you're talking about. Of the four of these gentlemen, what do you think is the easiest one to see what parents might be able to see? I see Enrique. Enrique, come up. You've, you've won the lottery here. Um, you love soccer, yes? yes? And he's helping you play soccer a little bit better? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's turn him around. What are we looking for? So we're going to, if you look at Enrique, look at his shoulders. You want to start the head, from the head down. Shoulders, are they level? Hips level? When you get down to the knee, Enrique, pull your shorts just up a little bit. You see that knee position? Yeah. How the knee goes in. So all the pressure is on the inside of his knee and then his foot is flattened out. So Enrique is in really danger of tearing an ACL if he doesn't have something to put that foot in the Even better. though he's only nine years old. Even though he's only nine years old. Flip around so we can see. One of the things that you were also saying is if we look from behind, if we can see his toes from behind. Right then that means the foot is flattening out more than it should. Really? You should never see the toes from the back of the foot. Okay, so he puts on a pair of these. Uh, will you step into your inserts, buddy? And you say, you know, especially with soccer, getting a pair of like store-bought cleats or Amazon cleats, certainly you can get one from your podiatrist, makes a big difference. Anything you can do to get that foot off the ground straightens the knee a little. Okay. And they are a little straighter. Hey, they are. Yeah. All right. Let's see some of these other guys. So th this gentleman, Enrique, you did your job. You're amazing. Um, you've been working with him since he was six years old? Yes. Come and, on up. And he's 14. No, he's not. <laughs> he's 20 and he actually is a, he's a collegiate athlete. Right? Collegiate athlete. Yep. Okay. And what is it that we're looking at with him? So the same thing. So. Remember, I've had him for 14 years. Yep. So we're looking head, shoulders, hip. Look at the legs are straight. Yeah, they look good. But you still see a di you still see a dip in the foot and the arch. Okay. So that's what we're still maintaining. Okay. Now, Natty, turn this way. Turn to the side. Notice Natty's thigh and leg line up perfectly. You like the way that looks. I love that. Okay. Because it's straight. It's straight. Okay. If there's any kind of bend, either at the thigh or the leg, then we have to look out for trouble. Okay. Come over here, gentlemen. Okay. So the other thing that you said is like, it could be exercises, it can be these inserts, but you just want to get ahead of it. We want to get ahead of it. A core training, you have to make sure the strength is in the core is, is normal. So face me. Face me. <laughs> yeah. Pull the shorts up a little. Yeah. Okay. You see the knee position is yeah. still out of alignment. Because they're supposed to be straight up and down. Straight up and down. And so the good news is a lot of kids do have this. We're just yes. trying to make sure that like, and so again, for him, it's exercises, it's putting exercises, something in his feet. Exercises, putting something in the shoe. Okay. If you can put something in that shoe, the knee cannot turn in and the foot cannot flatten out if the knee's straight. Okay. Okay? I love it. Okay, last but certainly not least. This is his brother. Yay, we Yay, love you. Yay, brother. By the way, thank you for waking up early. I know this is a pain in the neck. What are you looking at on him? Same thing. Now, you got to know different age groups. 16? He's 16. 16. Yeah. I've had him for the same amount of years. Maybe yeah. since you've been six, four. Yeah. So he looks, been... But his knees are a lot straighter. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you looking at on him? So, well, it's progress. Okay. Do we, once we get them organized and pain free, we just want to maintain arch height. Okay. But if you look at his shoulders, nice and level. Yep. Okay. Drop down. Yep. Turn and face the other way. All right. There you go. Here's what we're working. You see the toes. 
Yep, again with the toes. So the heel goes out, mm -hmm. the toes are out. That's dangerous without any correction. That's why we put something in the shoe. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. It's good so that we can look at stuff. Again, thank you guys for waking up early or going to school a little bit late. I like that we have stuff that we can look at at home and stuff we can do just that was good. wherever yeah. we are. That was real good. Thank you. All it's right. amazing. Good, right? Thank you, Jen. Yeah, simple yeah. insert can make all the difference. That's Jen, are like, your legs straight? You're yeah. a pretty good athlete. My legs are not straight. Oh, Am my legs straight? Wait, oh, they tilt I? in too. Ugh. Oh, shit. You better come in soon. Ooh, you better get in there right now. <laughs>